We begin tonight with continuing coverage as cleanup crews continue to pull cars from the rubble of what used to be a two story hospital parking garage in Johnson City after it collapsed yesterday afternoon. WENY Samantha Potter was back on scene today and brings us the latest developments out of Broome County. Renata, despite what people are calling a tragedy here at the Wilson Medical Center, at this time it's reported that nobody has been missing. According to the hospital, all patients and employees are accounted for, and it's believed that nobody has been injured. They did have a live person search dog go in yesterday, which came back negative. So we're pretty confident that we should be okay when it comes to that aspect of it. Yesterday around 3 p.m., a large section of a two-story parking garage at the UHS Wilson Medical Center in Johnson City collapsed. 24 cars on the top level instantly slamming down onto the ground level of the garage, burying more cars underneath. And at this point, we're really not sure why or how it happened. According to hospital spokeswoman Christina Boyd, all vehicles on the top level have been removed, but they're still unsure how many cars are below. Today, private construction crews are working to secure the structure in order to clean up the mess and salvage as many cars as possible. Not much more than we were yesterday. They've removed a few cars from the complex over here just to get some of the weight off of it. Doing some supporting underneath so they can move forward to what they need to do on top. The Pacino building, which houses a hospital cafeteria, is attached to the garage. It was evacuated yesterday and will remain closed until Monday. In my mind, the best case scenario is we don't have any other inc incidents with this as they're removing the debris and that we, you know, there's no loss, uh, that we finally had concrete proof that there was no injuries of any kind to anybody. Meantime, hospital officials haven't said when the last time the garage structure was inspected or how old it is. Crews are expected to continue cleanup throughout the weekend, and if all goes according to plan, the concrete and asphalt, as well as the cars, are all supposed to be cleaned up by Monday. WENY will continue to keep you updated on any new information we receive. But for now, reporting in Johnson City, Samantha Potter, WENY News.